Now, the intense rain soaked homes and businesses all over the metro. And for a car dealership, it means millions of dollars worth of damage. Lisa Benson has the story. Lisa? That's right. A lot of businesses along 103rd are cleaning up right now. You can take a look and see the Indian Creek has receded back into its banks, but not before forcing a lot of business owners to perform a costly cleanup. For some, flooded banks and roadways are a sight to see. I'm like really, really surprised. I've, I've never seen it like that. It scares me. I don't know how to swim. So. <laughs> it's an act of nature. For others, the aftermath of saturated soil and overrun banks can be quite costly, especially if your car dealership is just yards from Indian Creek. It's, it's devastating. It's, it is. We're here to, to, to sell cars, help our customers out, and now we're, we're kind of we're, we're hopeless now. Mason Chestnut War works for the Moly VW dealership near 103rd in Warnell. When he got to work this morning, flood waters had moved many of the cars and some were still full of water. Water just started coming out and that's all we can do is just go from there and check all the damage. Chestnut has seen flooding at the dealership before, but says this storm caught them completely off guard. We didn't know it was going to get this high this time, so we, we adjust and move on. Moving on with dozens of cars that are shiny on the outside and useless on the inside. They're, they're done. They're totaled out. Just with all the co computer modules, engine, anytime water gets into an engine, it hydro locks it up and, and they're done. The, it was high enough where it, it flooded out the engines. Insurance adjusters are expected to survey the damage over the next few days as Chestnut and so many others hope for a break in the rain showers. Now the car dealership, as well as other businesses, are still telling the damage. You can take a look here and see that they are still cleaning up, and they expect to be doing this for several more days. Reporting live, Lisa Benson, NBC Action News.